Sadly, this is the last video. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Yasmin. Please do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss any new videos I post. I post on Wednesdays and Sundays. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always being amazing and coming back to watch me. Today, I'll be talking to you about the things that I learned after I started feeding my baby solids. So before we get started on this video, if you have not watched my video that talks about the things you need to know before offering solids to your baby, please do so. I'll leave the link in the description box. If you're not aware or if you're new here, I am a mother of two boys, so I have experience feeding two different people. So I'm going to be sharing the things I learned whilst feeding both babies. The first thing I learned after I started my babies on solids is that babies can be fussy. So sometimes you would have a child who would not want to taste their food for no apparent reason. You feel they are hungry, but they are just refusing to eat. So let me tell you this. Both my boys have good appetite. So I don't have um, the experience of kids really rejecting food all the time. But of course, there's been circumstances or even period of time where they did not want to eat anything I offered them. It wasn't even because the food was new or anything. They just didn't want to eat the food I was giving them. And trust me, it can be heartbreaking. But I've learned to realize that there's been, th there are these periods in time where they are like that. They could be teething or they just will not be in the mood for food or they may be having tummy issues and stuff like that. So bear in mind that once you start your baby on solids, because they are still getting used to them, the solids, they've been on milk. I mean, for the greater part of their lives, they've, they've lived on earth. So of course, it, this is a new experience for them. It will take time for them to adjust. So as much as possible, just know that they can be fussy and it is all right. But then again, if your, uh, the, your baby's fussiness extends or prolongs, I have a video also that talks about how to feed picky eaters. So you might also want to check that out in the description box and watch it and also get some tips on how to help your baby eat your food another thing you should note is that when you start your baby on solids you should be persistent the thing is they are now getting used to the fact that it is not only milk they can survive on so this is a new experience for them so you have to have all the patience in the world you have to be persistent if you offer them something new today and they do not like it keep trying unless of course they are allergic to it keep trying these foods with time they get used to them and of course the textures and then they become more receptive of the foods. So you do not have to give up when for the first time or maybe the first three tries, they are rejecting the food. You have to be consistent and patient of course and keep offering these meals to your kids. Another thing you should note is also that when I started feeding my baby solids, I realized that I should be serving them in small portions. So, like I said, they've always been on milk. So now that the transition is here, you don't have to jump straight ahead to giving three meals and then two snacks. You can start off by giving two main meals and a snack. So that snack is replacing the, um, the third main meal. So what I did with my boys was that I give them breakfast, of course, in the morning. And then we have a snack, which is supposed to have been the lunch. And then I give them their supper or their dinner. So instead of three main meals, I'm giving them two main meals and then a snack. So as time went on, by eight months, they began to be more receptive of their meals. And then I switched to three main meals in the day. So you can serve them small portions from the beginning and let them ease slowly into the transition. See, and when you start giving them solids, it is not automatic that they will start eating in big portions like... If your child even has a huge appetite, they will not be eating too much because it's still new to them. So another thing I learned after I started giving my baby solids was that gagging is normal. Now, I can't begin to explain the number of times that I was scared that my kids were choking 
mind you i was feeding them with period food so is it because that i didn't make the food as smooth as possible or whatever no that wasn't the reason so the thing is they were still getting used to the texture so sometimes when i give them the period food they would behave like they are choking so there's a difference between gagging and choking if it seems to you that your child is gasping for air then they are choking but this gag reflex all babies have it so they are trying to um experiment with textures so of course if i give them something that is period it is thicker than the breast milk or the formula they are used to and then they taste it the natural instinct is to bring it back out of their mouth okay so if they try to do that and you know the food is as smooth as it should be then there should be no worry because that is how babies behave but if they are trying to bring it out and you realize they cannot breathe then you know that there's a choking hazard there so as much as possible keep an eye out for the difference between gagging and choking so that you do not put your baby in harm's way but note that gagging is normal once you start your baby on solids so another thing i learned after i started feeding my baby solids was that you need to do your research okay as much as we listen to other moms and their experiences when it comes to feeding their babies you also need to do your personal research and find out what foods they can eat what foods they cannot eat what food your baby reacts to what food is okay for their tummy what food is not okay for their tummies you have to make that research on your own do not rely solely on experiences of other mothers or other um, relatives who have had kids because like i said from the beginning all kids are different i mean i have two boys they are both for me but they are both very different when it comes to their feeding so please do your research and know what works for your baby and what doesn't work for your baby so if you watch the beginning of this video you realize that i said that this is the last video guess what yes it is the last video but it's just the last chit chat segment for 2020 yes christmas is coming and when we hear christmas uh, it is food and food and food so beginning the first week in december of course on wednesdays and sundays i'll be giving you recipes back to back to back for your babies and toddlers for the festive season you would not want to miss these recipes they are yummy they are nutritious i mean why shouldn't the babies also celebrate christmas why shouldn't the toddlers also celebrate christmas eating good and healthy meals so you might want to join me every wednesday and sunday in december where i give you back-to-back -back recipes for our little ones don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell comment like and share and do all the good stuff to this video so if you've been with me this far thank you so much for being with me it's been an amazing journey this year and i hope to see you again on sunday for another nutritiously yummy recipe till then keep blooming